all familiar with the geospatial infrastructure of ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Enterprise. Here we see the US Forest Service ArcGIS Online organization. It's composed of content and users. Using groups, collections of content are shared with other users. Looking at this group for the northeastern area, we see that it's laid out in functions much like any other. While the group organizes content around a specific area of interest, it provides little context to users. From the group, a user has little understanding of where to start, which content items are related, or which order to view them in. In many cases, it's necessary to provide our users with a bigger picture to establish a narrative to ensure the right app is used at the right time. To do this, let's explore how we can use ArcGIS to easily create focused websites in a matter of minutes. Let's first look at an example. The US Forest Service has created a focused website in support of the Feds Feeds Families federal campaign. This annual campaign encourages federal employees to get involved within their communities in the fight against hunger. This website has its own branding, its own design, and its own data. From the navigation bar, we immediately get a sense of the intended flow. We have an initial home page to introduce the campaign, followed by a series of pages. I can get involved by finding nearby volunteer opportunities to donate and participate. I can also easily see campaign results to quickly monitor and track recent donations. This new capability within ArcGIS allows us to easily configure focused websites. We can showcase content in new ways to engage broader audiences through modern, compelling experiences. This capability is already included and available for everyone in ArcGIS Enterprise and ArcGIS Online. Let's first create a website in ArcGIS Enterprise. Within an enterprise organization, simply navigate to the app launcher, choose sites. From here, we see a list of our organization's existing sites for our various projects and programs. Let's create a new site. I create a website through two main steps. Step one, provide basic information. I'll give it a name and a domain. Step two, choose the groups I want to use. The groups that I select control the content that will be available within my site. In a matter of seconds, I have my very own easy to configure website. This is the beginnings of my agency project site. By default, it maintains my organization's theme and branding, but I can easily configure this. I'll first open the site editor and choose theme. Instead of a white header, let's go with gray. The building blocks of my site are available within layout. These data-driven cards control everything I can add to my design. They're easy to configure through a simple drag and drop interface. Let's add a gallery card. I can control the groups and item types that should populate the card. As new, as new content is shared to these groups, new application tiles will automatically appear. Most websites have multiple pages. If I click on the pages icon, I can easily see my site map. I can link to existing pages within my organization and add new pages. When my website is ready to go, I can quickly share with my team, my entire organization, or to the public. We've just leveraged ArcGIS Enterprise to create a focused website. This same capability exists within ArcGIS Online. Here, Sites is one of many capabilities accessed through Hub. And it's included with every ArcGIS online organization today. Lucy just showed you some of the basic capabilities available in ArcGIS Hub, which is included in your organization. But there's a lot more in Hub that you can take advantage of. So let me tell you about initiatives. In your work, you're often faced with new challenges, whether that's part of your agency mission or it's responding to an emergent event like a hurricane. How do you start your work? With ArcGIS Hub, you start with an initiative. Initiatives organize collaboration. They bring together data, applications, and people into a common workspace. Now, you can create your own initiative, or you can get started with a template. Many of you face problems that are common across government. Templates jumpstart your collaboration. For example, the recently passed Geospatial Data Act and Open Government Data Act reinforced the vision that data should be open by default, machine-readable, and freely reusable. 
you can meet these new policies by starting with the Hub's Share Open Data initiative to manage an open data program in your agency. The template includes an open data website, applications for constituents to find locally relevant information, and surveys to request new data or report data quality issues. So let's look at a federal agency example. The US Department of Housing and Urban Development is using ArcGIS Hub to manage an open data storefront that engages with the public and shares information to improve communication and decision making. Anyone can search for data sets by category or geography. Both spatial and non-spatial data sets are easy to find and use. Visitors can explore the data, create charts, make maps. And of course, they can download the data directly in common open formats. Now, besides open data, there are many internal and public programs that would benefit from improved data sharing and collaboration. The Initiative Gallery includes templates based on common government practices for financial transparency, public health issues, infrastructure investment, and performance management. But in addition to the templates, you can create your own initiatives based on specific workflows. Now, creating an initiative is as simple as giving it a name. Now, while this is running in the background, a group is being added to my organization, a website is being automatically created and added to the group, and then I'll have an initiative collaboration space where I can create and manage my product's content. Now, while I'm the initiative lead, I need to bring in other experts to help me do my work. So I'll build my team by adding members, in this case, an analyst and a responder, so they can create new content and do some analysis to support this initiative. They can create content in the platform, and I can add that to this initiative. In this case, I see that one of my colleagues has created a new page that specifies the evacuation plan. I will link this into my site so then it's available and easily discoverable by other people. And now that it's here, I can edit it to review the content, make any changes as necessary, and when ready, share that back out to responders or the public to effect change on the ground. This is why we call it Hub. It balances technology, process, and people. Addressing our community's most complex problems will require the intelligence, efforts of everyone working together, powered by data, brought to life by GIS. Thank you.